All right, here's the house. Living space. Three bedrooms. Got bedroom number one. It's a pretty good clean canvas. Bedroom number two. Bedroom number three. So really these don't need a ton of work. We're gonna take down this, whatever this tile is and cheat rock that and do some recessed lighting. And each one has its own closet. It's pretty good size. We've got the bathroom here. This is gonna be pretty much a complete gut. So we've got that blue tile going on and everything. They got nice original hardwoods. Just need to do can lights. That's about it. Living room. We're just gonna do same in here. Take out the ceiling, put some recessed lighting, and we're going to open up this wall to the kitchen and open up this wall to the dining. Here's the kitchen. So, in here, we're gonna do all new cabinets, same thing with the ceiling, recess lighting. Probably gonna leave the stove there with the vent hood over top. Maybe relocate the refrigerator over here somewhere. And down here, this is the dining room. We're gonna raise the dining room floor. Right now, there's some steps down. We're gonna raise this up to the height of the rest of the house. Maybe put in some French doors over here. And then out here, under this, under this garage area, this is going to be the master. So we're gonna close this in. That'll be the master bedroom. Once we get all of this closed in, it'll be about 2,000 square feet, which will be almost double what we have right now. And this will be a huge blessing. Lots of great living space for our family. Next up is demo day, yay. All right, the guys are getting it done. They already knocked out that wall between the living and the kitchen, and now they are taking out the dining wall. So it is really opening this place up. Next up is raising the dining room floor. So I think this must have been a garage or something before now, and they're bringing it up to house level. Just now finished doing the floor um, so we bought a bunch of two by twelves, got those brought in, and then we installed the floor system. We haven't put the plywood on yet. Hopefully tomorrow, get all those. Uh, we have some lamb beams that we'll be putting in up inside the ceiling and supporting them off the two ends of the walls, and uh, with maybe just a little bit of reveal on those. But then uh, that should. Be able to support the rest of the roof quite nicely. So. Ivy, what do you think about this? Look at this. They're taking out the wall. Is that so cool? Yeah. I love it. Well, we are starting to raise the beam up. Let me show you a little bit of what we're doing. I got jack baits here. Um, so we've tied a 30,000 pound strap there. Um, we've got a plenty enough winch to get this up in here. So what we're going to do is lift this two foot tall, 26 foot beam up and set it on our support post. And then we'll be able to remove a few more walls and hopefully get this room nice and opened up. Remove that wall from the kitchen and that back wall where the laundry room, room used to be. Trying to get this beam up into the attic. Emphasis on trying to. It's going to be a pain. Oh, we'll get that done eventually. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Here goes nothing. All righty, we got that beam in. Uh, we are about killed after that. We got it up there, though. It, it's just about the death of us, but uh, we'll then be able to uh, sandwich a few more things into that. Guys, it is about the end of day seven probably for really working on this house 
There's Noah and Jack over there zooming it in. What's up, dudes? Yo, yo. These guys got it done today. So we have joined a triple uh, lamb beam right there um, and supported that off too many posts over there. Um, and then we took out the wall today over here and built our temporary wall next to it. Um, and then all we have to do is just cut those out and slide our lamb beam up. All right, well, we have started on the process of getting the uh, garage port kind of closed in and we've poured footings. We actually did those by hand. The concrete truck was a little backed up and then we uh, just framed a little bit today. We've gotten it mostly closed in and that right side should go pretty quick. Now that we've gotten all the prep work done, get our windows all in there, uh, frame out the inside, and then get this thing sheetrocked. Kablooey. We have the opening for the French door. Boom, that's what it's gonna look like. Right out into the backyard. Alrighty, it's time for an update. We've got uh, that back door in. Uh, let's see, back door, front door, everything's opened up. We got our flooring in as well, at least the subfloor. Uh, and then we just finished this up today. Um, we got the back laundry room, uh, master bedroom. That's what's gonna go here, that king size bed. This will be the laundry room right in here. And uh, washer, dryer, various things there that'll go back out. And then this here is the master bath. So we got all that finished up today. Electrical coming in in just a few days. And then hopefully in two weeks, we should have all of the sheetrock in, everything insulated, sheetrock in. And then we'll be ready to do some flooring and some trim. Okay, and the keen observer would notice that all of the sheetrock has actually gone off these back rooms. We were planning to leave that originally, but some of the sheetrock got damaged when pulling off the chair rail, and it turned out there was actually no insulation in the exterior walls. So they decided to pull it off, insulate, and then just give the sheetrockers a clean slate rather than just doing like patchwork sheetrock. And also it'll give the electricians a chance to just rewire everything and get it all up to date. But you know, that's just kind of par for the course with some of these older homes. But overall, the structure is great and it's got good bones. We are dumping a decent amount of our savings into this, but we feel like it'll suit our needs for years to come. So for that, it's worth it. Okay, so if you like the design side of things, then be sure to tune in next time because this is where it gets fun. Jan and I hit up the store and start picking out all the things, the tile, the paint, the hardware, all of that. And then I also found this awesome, awesome like home design app thing and so I sketched out the whole home and was like putting in some of these design details and I cannot wait to show you how this thing turned out. It's going to be so great.